the heck was that? Hurry, it's getting away. Saw a thing. It stole some pipe. Going after it. Yeah, I should have kept recording. It just just appeared, actually, just a couple of seconds after I stopped. Checking out. Oh my, but what about my furnace? You're all done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad. Or the National Guard, or, or, or the... Someone better equipped to handle your situation. Oh, I see. Guess I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Excuse me? Yeah, the sheriff told me to give him a buzz the moment you left town. Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. So, will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? What is Sheriff Bog hiding? And that lock, it's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around, see this through. Oh, great. Hot dish all around. I think the sheriff wants me out of town. And what is the deal with that gear I found on Mike Lobb? I need to see a man about a furnace pipe. What was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If, if two rows are white and rotations affect orientation, then, then... Huh? Since Bo's brain gets scrambled, all inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots to redirect his stream of thought to the light of lucidity. Okay. Oh boy, pit of perplexity, brain tubes, light of lucidity. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bo's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrow it hits. Okay. Brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. You think you have arranged... Wait, the rain tubes will cause the stream of thought to bounce off the left. This sounds highly complex. Oh, I see. I'm just dragging him. How does this work? Can you drag into these empty spaces right there? Nope. You drag there. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to figure it out and then record again. Hopefully the little gnome doesn't pop out again. Actually, it scared the crap out of me when it did. That was neat. Naturally, it's when I wasn't recording, so... Well, I couldn't have known. Okay, I guess this is it. I used some hints. I had to. Because... What is that? Hello? was a very interesting puzzle, but... The whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers what? Clear the path. Another gear. Hmm.
Someone left a screwdriver in the alley. Looks clean. Probably of no... I got your pipe back. Let's finish putting this back together. Oh, goody. See, it was just a couple of clicks and then the gnome just jumped up. Stop recording and then record when I'm done. This will take like eight years. Okay, let's see if this is it. I doubt it. See, look, it goes around, over, over there, up over here. I bet you that's not it, though. Take it. There you go. Your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. You FBI types sure are handy. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing, um, little people in pointy hats? Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Did it take him long to fix? Oh yeah, all night. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Can you tell me anything more about the hidden people? Oh yeah, tourists love the stories. But Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh, yeah, they don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks out. Mike Lobb is dead. And I just saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm gonna head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bog.
I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checked out, huh? He's in the clear. He couldn't have been involved. Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah. Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers, you wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. Have you heard about this hidden people superstition? Hidden people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh. You had me going there, Tethers. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> uh, yeah. How'd you go in there? Well, sounds like you have had a busy day. Let's wrap it up for today and start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. And we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means I'll see you in the morning, Agent Tethers. Those chairs weren't here before, were they?